Welcome everybody to another Voice of Nick live stream. We're gonna be playing more Tokyo Jungle this time. Let's see what kind of animals we get in this uh, this crop of animals. Let's hope it's a good one. Guys, if you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I stream live three times a day and seven days a week on here. The games that we play are all uh, what we call ultra-blind playthroughs. So they're all story-based games. I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. If you want to see more of what happens on here, you can always type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all six concurrent gameplay series going, including Tokyo Jungle. And if you like what you see, then keep your eyes out, because there's plenty more streams that always come out on this channel. Uh, if you uh, if you heard about the three streams a day thing, there's plenty of streams. Uh, the 21st Danganronpa episode is out on the YouTube channel right now. You can find that at youtube.com slash the voice of Nick or exclamation mark YouTube in the chat. The 30 fifth Twitch playbook entry is also out right now. That one's going to help you look back on your uh, progress as a Twitch streamer and sort of make some decisions about which things you want to prioritize, because obviously you can't do everything all the time. Now, uh, the Twitch playbook is a free podcast that I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms. Let's jump into it, ladies and gents. I'm going to open Tokyo Jungle. And uh, thank you to uh, White Llama Show for the host as well. Let's get a, uh, oh, White Llama Show, welcome to the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark high for White Llama Show. If you like this game, that Ancestors game. Yeah, I'm excited to play that, actually. Um, that's Patrice Desilets, who's, uh, who's doing that game. The guy, the same guy who, uh, he was on the first Assassin's Creed and possibly the second, but he was kind of like the, the big guy, like when, you know, when they were roaming that around at E3 2006, 2007, he was always the guy with Jade Raymond who was like, the mastermind behind the climbing stuff in Assassin's Creed, which obviously makes a lot of sense considering what that game is. I'm really excited to see his new thing. I don't, I don't know of anything else that he has done since AC, so this might be kind of like his big, uh, his big new thing. So I'm, I'm pretty pumped for that. <laughs> While I'm saying, improve me, Dad. I, I, uh, I don't know that I can improve the White Llama Show, but I can help people who are starting on Twitch. That's for sure. White Llama Show, how are you doing? Let's get some hearts in that chat for White Llama Show. And what is your favorite thing that you have done today? It is pretty late for you, right? You're in like maybe the two o'clock range, two, two a.m. ish. Now we, hmm. oh, we got the Black Panther. Okay, that's right. Hmm, Mammoth we don't have enough money for. Panther we also don't have enough money for. So this is a concerning situation because we are, we can't actually get any more stuff. Oh, well, I'm just saying it's two-ish. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah, what is your favorite thing that you have done on this fine, fine day? I can't remember which animal we, there was one animal that we sort of gave up on, like, trying to uh, unlock the next thing with. Ah, we might just have to go through and sort of look look through each one of them. Let's inspect our menagerie here. Okay, this one is done. It's going to be an exploratory episode, and by that I mean we're exploratorying through the menus. Wait, well, I'm saying I need to play this again. Never got far into it. Yeah, that's the reason I uh, started playing it too, because I've had it forever, but I just uh, I never played more than a couple hours ever of it, and uh, I'm really enjoying it. We, we've done the whole storyline, which the storyline in this game is surprisingly affecting. It's actually a really good campaign. Um, and now I've been working through like trying to get to all the different uh, animal species. But what we're running into now is because you need like in-game XP to like buy, you basically spend your XP to buy new animal species when you unlock them. And so we're able to unlock the animals, or rather we're able to, yeah, unlock the ability to buy them, but we're not gaining enough XP to buy them. So now that we're near like, probably the last like 10% of the game, the animals are getting so expensive that I don't know if we're going to be able to to get enough points to get them. Um, okay, these guys we don't need to buy. These are all going to be the same 
I think. But let's get the rabbit and see if, see if, uh, I want to say maybe the chicken was one that we didn't get everything with. Hmm. Not entirely sure. Challenge list. Uh, Weeby, welcome to the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark high for Weeby joining the show as well. Welcome in. Was this game always multiplayer? Yeah, although you might be thinking of something else. Uh, it's only local multiplayer. So you can play like, uh, you know, couch co-op. That's why there's actually always that 1P symbol above their uh, heads. Yeah, and then they have leaderboards. Okay, let's check the chicken. Welcome Gaming Hour into the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark high for Gaming Hour joining the show. Welcome in Gaming Hour. Weeby and Gaming Hour, what is your favorite thing that you have done on this fine, fine Monday? Holiday Monday, assuming you're in the US. Okay, we did this one too. I shouldn't have given up on whatever animal it was, because I remember we did this with one animal where I was like, I can't get whatever they're trying to make me get, so I'll switch to another animal. And then there's no way to track like which animals you've unlocked the next thing with. So we're sort of just doing this to check who we have. Okay, I'm pretty sure we did it with the kitty, but we might as well give it a shot. Yeah, I've been really enjoying this though. Here, crash after leaving the stream, woke up not that long ago. Nice. So a voice of Nick stream to a voice of Nick stream. Good stuff. Very good stuff. Very on brand. Wheelie saying, I would love to play it, but it's not on PSN anymore. Really? I didn't know that. Well, it you might so it's on PlayStation 3 only. If you if you don't have a PS3 anymore, that might be why you don't see it, but I'd be surprised if they took it off the PlayStation 3 PlayStation Store. Um, but yeah, they don't have it on uh, PS4, like as a port or as a backwards compatible or anything. Oh, it might have been the Porcupine that we didn't do this with. Yeah, I'm not sure which animal. But it's important to do this because I don't want to just grind with random animals. I want to actually progress with the one that we're supposed to. So for anybody who doesn't know how the mechanics work in this game, uh, you can be, as you're seeing here, a bunch of different kinds of animals, and it's a roguelike when you play as them. And each animal, when you play as it in the roguelike mode, will have one, um, they'll have like a bunch of randomly assigned objectives, and then there's one other animal that they can try to find in the world, like when you play as them. And if you can find that other animal, um, then you'll be able to unlock the next one, the next type of animal, uh, you know, on the list. So like, you don't just have all the animals from the beginning. I think it's a really cool way to do it. Um, except I wish they had a better tracking situation for this. Okay, it wasn't the porcupine. It might have been the cow though. I feel like it was some kind of big, big animal now. <laughs> Maybe I'm just seeing the next one and always thinking that. Yeah, I would be surprised though if this is not on the PS3 uh, store anymore. Because I don't, I don't know why they would remove it. I would love to see them do... Oh, what I do know though, somebody reported in, they said that uh, they have it on PS Now, if you're a PS4 person. Haha, <laughs> wait, I was saying, can I steal? Yes, you can. Um, you just have to put copyright, the voice of Nick, trademark 2019, all rights reserved, uh, in all caps. But other than that, yes. No, yeah, you could take that. That's um, taken many iterations for us to arrive at. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that one that we have now. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many like versions. Oh, I'm sure you would believe actually, like how many different versions I've tried to come up with. Because it's so hard to explain what you mean, you know? I, I'm sure you... you uh, are thinking the same thing, where it's like, it's hard to explain what you mean and like, encapsulate everything you're trying to say. Oh, we be saying it is on PS now. Try to get it for this game, but it's not, oh, it's not available in your country. Bummer. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, this game is really good. 
Um, I, I want them to do a PS4, either a port or a remake or a sequel or something. I just want more Tokyo Jungle. I want more Tokyo Jungle and I want more people to know about Tokyo Jungle because it's so good. Um, what I really think would be the best is if they just did a Steam, just put it out on Steam. I mean, it's developed by Sony internal, like it's developed by the Sony Japan studio, so it's pretty unlikely, but man, if they could do a second one and just somehow, you know, license it out to be, to be on Steam, that would be, mwah, that'd be great. We would say, hell yeah, I'd love more Tokyo Jungle. Yeah, it's just, it's a great idea for a game. Every time that we like explain it to somebody or if somebody's like, oh, what's Tokyo Jungle? And then, you know, we have our little thing of like, oh, it's like a roguelike about wild animals in the post-apocalyptic Tokyo. And then they're like, wow, that sounds like a great idea for a game. Like, I've never met somebody who doesn't fall in love with this game when they like see it. So, and it's the kind of thing that would do well now, you know, like there's a lot of, especially like with Twitch being a thing, like, you know, there's a lot of um, potential for like, funny stuff to happen in, in games like this. I don't know, people like watching roguelikes, right? We gotta get a like a petition started. <laughs> Sony Japan Studio, make another Tokyo Jungle, E3 2020. Well, at least you guys are seeing a nice uh, display of all the different kinds of animals you can get in this game. In case anyone's wondering. So we, there's two like classes of animal. You can either be a, I think they call it a hunter or a grazer. And so the, the hunter is a carnivore and they are actually specifically uh, hunting other animals. So like you, your food source depends on finding other animals walking around and you know, killing them. And obviously you don't know if, if the animal is hostile or not when you, when you come into the zone you know, what kind of animal it's going to be. So it can be pretty dangerous. Um, the grazers have a completely different food source and a completely different gameplay style. It's more of like a stealth game. So it's pretty crazy, like, when you switch from a hunter to a grazer, or when you go from like, you know, because you start out as a really small animal and then you continuously get bigger as you unlock more. So like, the difference between our first grazing animal, which was like a Sika, tiny little Sika deer, which is like a, you know, uh, it's like a little tiny little thing on like four twig legs. And then the biggest uh, grazing animal we have now is like an elephant or like a hippo, a buffalo. You know, these things are huge uh, grazing animals. So like, there's a big difference. You can really feel the difference. Azra Tundra, welcome to the stream as well. Let's get an exclamation mark high for Azra Tundra. Hey, gaming hour getting that holiday cheer. Love it. Good stuff. I like how that one that one was intended to be like a like a flub message, but it's become like a like a favorite uh, introduction of mine. I really like that one. Hey, welcome Bling Nails as well to the stream. Let's get an exclamation mark high for Bling Nails. What is your favorite thing that you have done as a tundra and Bling Nails on this fine day? Well, since I last saw you guys, <laughs> I should say. On this fine few hours previous. Okay, so we checked this Axis deer. It might have been one of these. I don't know. I honestly, I, I'm just guessing. I'm grasping at straws here. Bling nothing on Duolingo. Yeah, that was that was a good five or six hours ago. Plenty can happen in that amount of time. Nope, it wasn't the sheep. Oh, Weeby saying I would love to see this with open world. Oh yeah, that'd be so cool. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool to see them do, did anyone ever play that game called, um, I think it was also a PS4 exclusive, or PS3 exclusive uh, called Africa. And it was just like a bunch of animals in like an open world, open world African, you know, Sahara desert or Sahara plains or whatever. Um, and it, it, at the time, it was like pretty photorealistic, um, and I don't know what the gameplay was, but it would be cool to see Tokyo Jungle portrayed like that. I still do like it. I like how it is. I like. I wish they just had a bigger, more open 
and possibly more randomly generated version of this. You know, if you could go to like Shibuya and Shinjuku and like all the different districts and stuff, like I still, it would be still cool if they even did another one that was 2D, you know, two and a half D the way that it is. Cause I, I like how arcadey it feels. Um, but um, yeah, I, I would definitely play it if they did it as like an open world 3D game as well. Flame else? Oh, nice. You're doing Spanish night now. Nice. Good stuff. It's time you start to speak it. It's a very useful language to know for sure. I, uh, it's probably more useful for me to know Spanish, honestly. But, uh, since I want to go to Japan, I gotta learn that Japanese. Very, very good stuff. That's, uh, I'm very glad to hear that. I think um, Stitchings is also learning Spanish, so uh, you guys should uh, should link up, discuss the old. Uh, I don't know how. I think it's a uh, Spain go. That's how you say uh, Spanish in Japanese. Spain go. I'm not sure how exactly you would say it. Let's look it up. Translate .google.com. Spanish from English to Japanese. Spaingo. Oh. Spaingo. 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 That's usually what it is, is that you just say the, the name of the country with go at the end of it. Like Nihongo is just Nihon, which is Japan, with go at the end. I think we got the hippo. I don't know. I don't. Maybe the there might have been one where it was like a. Um, uh, hmm, there might have been one where it was like an animal that had to unlock two, two animals at the same time. I remember there was one that could unlock like something and also a bear, and like we didn't get the bear, but we got the other thing. We just think so like New Zealand go. I I'm not sure actually what that one is. Let's see. New. Is that a specific, what's the language? Yeah, they don't, I don't think they have like a specific word for it. I mean, the way they say it is New Zealand no gengo, which means like New Zealand's language, but like it, it's not like a specific word. Hmm, Maori, Terio and English. Yeah, I don't think they have like a specific word for it, but yeah, that's what it would be is a New Zealand no gengo. I guess gengo is uh, the word for like general language. I never knew that actually. I should keep that in mind. Like I was saying, has it been difficult to switch between English and Japanese after the stream? Um, that's a, a good question. I uh, I do find myself a lot of times uh, when I'm like lost in thought, saying like eto when when I'm thinking uh, out loud in English sometimes. Just because I say it, that's like my number one word in Japanese. Because obviously there's a lot of moments where I have to like sit there and think <laughs> uh, about what I'm trying to say. But um. Yeah, mostly just stuff where like, if I'm sitting here in English and then I'll have like a revelation about something, I'll be like, oh, that's what that is. Or like, I'll, I'll like put two and two together, you know? So like, it's fun because when you're, you know, it, it's, it applies to anything, I guess, right? Where like, when you're learning Spanish, you'll be sitting there at the dinner table like, oh, that's what that word, that's what like the origin of that word means or something. I was trying to say maybe an ano, yeah, I, I really sort of stick to the etto. But yeah, it's good to have a more more varied list of uh, <laughs> interstitial words. Now, we got these two. Tosa? I want to say it was like, 
Maybe the elephant or the... Oh, it might have been the hyena. But we're going to go in order because I don't want to mess this, you know, ordering system up. <laughs> Gamer saying he does it when playing SAO. There you go. And I scratched the back of my head. Oh man, I'm see I'm uh I'm trying to get in, in the uh in the groove. I guess I don't notice it sometimes. But that's I suppose that's a good thing. Single player. So we've gone through almost every animal that we have at this point. I believe one of these three, I'm gonna call it, no, one of these four is gonna be it. I think it's gonna be the the, um, the last one, the coyote, I think it is. Oh, were you saying, now that I think about it, Japanese would probably find it easier to call, whoa, something's going on there. Call New Zealand by his Maori name, which is Aotearoa, since you pronounce your vowels the same. Oh, yeah, I guess it would be. I wonder if they, because Google Translate usually gives like, you know, it's not always 100% accurate to like what you're trying to get. It, it doesn't a lot of times get like the context. So maybe they do have a word for that. Hold on, let's type this one in. See if maybe there's a word for that. No, it doesn't show up. Oh, translate from Maori. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. From, oh, wait, no, 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 they're, they're translating it from Maori, from the language of Maori. Okay, so they just have like the literal katakana for Aotearoa in Japanese. What about if we said Maori, Maori, Maori? Yeah, they don't like have a specific. I wonder what New Zealand is probably just yeah, New Zealand, New Zealand. It's basically just New Zealand in katakana. That would be a better name for it though. Considering the way that they make their uh, their. Um, uh, syllables. Bling out saying Google Translate was quite interesting today. Yeah, it's got a lot of um, very unique choices. Like, I can't. The one thing I notice is, like, in Japanese, you're really not supposed to call. Like, you're supposed to use proper nouns a lot of time. Uh, because it's kind of rude to just say like you, like what do you think, like how was your day? Like you're supposed to say like, how was Bling Nels by Ariel's day? Like you're supposed to use like the actual like username or the actual name or whatever. Um, but the problem is Google Translate will not, it just doesn't want to get proper nouns like for whatever reason. So um, I, I end up just having to say Anata, which is you, like the second person or whatever because it, whenever I try to say proper nouns, it'll just come up with some random word. It's gotta be one of the, like, we're getting pretty close to the end of our animal list here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff too in the, on the streams where like I'll say things that I wouldn't necessarily say in in spoken Japanese like a lot of times you don't uh, you wouldn't say like I went to the store you wouldn't say like watashi wa mise o you know ittekimashita you, you would just say went to the store but then if you're trying to say like, because you also wouldn't say like, you went to the store, if, if it's understood that you're talking about you, the other person you. But like, Google Translate doesn't know that I'm talking about the other person you, because it only translates one sentence at a time in a vacuum. So like, if you, if I was saying you went to the store, it'll translate it as I went to the store. And so it makes like a lot of really weird, like sometimes it'll make things that are like impolite, where it's like, 
like, you know, I'm trying to say something like more politely and then it'll kind of come out sounding like I'm being like really abrasive or forceful about it. And then it's like, oh crap, like how do I even communicate the, <laughs> you know, the thing. Okay, this is my guess. Yes, okay, the bear. We freed the cheetah. Complete four challenges. Okay, we finally got it. What are we playing as? Hyena. Can I get some hype, ladies and gents? The hyena is back on the menu. No, wait, other stuff's on the menu. Hyena, definitely not on the menu. Shibuya Woods, three clean kills, 15 animals. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Do we have any names for this hyena dynasty? I'll uh, give it until the first year here. So we wanna go to Shibuya Woods, so we should go this way. There we go. As a Tundra get in that hype. Thank you, As a Tundra. Game Hour with the hype as well. Thank you, Gaming Hour. Gary's saying that's why someone needs to create a universal translator. Well, that's the thing about translating the language is because Google is correct when it says that. Because if I were saying it like as its own sentence, it would mean I do this. But that's the thing is that like if I'm responding to a chat message, they don't know what the chat message said. So like, there's no, I don't think there would really be any way to, to sort of like, um, translate that properly. Okay, here we go, now we're in here. We be getting that hype. Oh wait, oh I can't eat plants. Look at me trying to eat a plant as a hyena. Good stuff. All right, what do we got over here? Rabbits? We need three clean kills. Man, we can almost never sneak up on rabbits. That was pretty impressive, actually. So the problem with the hyena is that it's really uh, weak. Like, it, it doesn't have a lot of defense. Three clean kills, 15 animals. Should be a woods, okay. Oh, we hit our uh, time, by the way. So that means Shenzi from Gaming Hour. Thank you for the name. Shenzi the Hyena. Here we go. Tokyo Jungle. Adding the name to the list. Okay, exclamation mark TJ in the chat will get you the Wall of Good Boys, where you can see the newest name Shenzi on there for our Hyena Dynasty. Thank you to Gaming Hour for the name. And thank you to Tokyo Jungle for finally giving us the animal that we actually needed to play as. It only took us about 30 minutes of searching. Oh wait, we should take out this crow because it's really easy to kill. Oh, we also want to get the... Uh... Oh no, I made it with a... Oh, that was bad. Uh-oh. That means we should probably just mate right now. Bling Nails, have a good rest of your stream. Go to bed now. See you on the next one. Have a fantastic rest of your night, Bling Nails. Can we get an exclamation mark night for Bling Nails by Ariel heading out of the stream? Have a great one. And have a very good uh, time with your studies. Ah, oh, crap. Now we got fleas. We got to go find a lake or something. There we go. Here we go. So the more we mate, I believe we will get more survival points. I think. Let's see. Mm, no, maybe not. Also, we didn't get any stats for that. Oh, we did get survival points. New generation. But it's not really that much. 
Look at these little tiny hyenas. They can jump really high relative to their size. They can jump like five times their height. Am I? Oh, okay. We're not toxified, but we're getting there. We should be pretty close to getting all the uh, the um, the stealth kills as well. Oh crap! Oh, there's a zebra. Get him! Uh-oh. He is not going to go down peacefully. Does he come back around? I don't think he sees us. Come on. Come on. Get him! I don't think that counts though. That's not a clean kill. All right. Damn, this guy's big. Five bites? Wow, that is a lot of bites. How many animals do we have to take down? Hold on. One more stealth bite, one more animal, okay. Does this guy see us? Man, come on, pigeon. Oh. No! Alright, we'll at least get this. Life plus 10, that's useful. All right. There we go. Oh, we got the clean kills. And we did Shibuya Woods, didn't we? Aren't we in Shibuya Woods? Maybe we'll get it in a second. There we go. Alright, so we upgraded a lot of our meters.
Get him. Okay, so we're kind of just hanging out until um, 10 years. We should probably claim this territory. Okay, we're already at boss rank. So we don't need to like keep eating. Although I think we might get more survival points if we do more eating. Do we have to kill the bear or just find the bear? We have to, cl oh Jesus. We have to claim the bear's territory. That is gonna be not easy. Damn. As it turns out, saying no baby hyenas. Uh, we did have baby hyenas at at one point. This is our second generation, but we need to find another uh, mate. Because I think we have to change generations twice. Let's see. Nope, you don't have to do that. But we might as well do it anyway. Get as many siblings as possible. Oh my god, did he kill our guy? Holy crap, the boar is so strong. He killed our guy. As a tundra again, that's sad. Thank you, as a tundra. RIP, hyena. How's this one doing? Oh, that's a good one. Okay, good. Prime female. Here we go. We be saying RIP. Oh wow, look at all these siblings. That's what we want. Okay, so now, wow, look at all these, okay. So we're at 11 years, what are our, we have objectives now. Four clean kills, 3,500 3, kcals, should be a shop district. All right, we can do the four clean kills, I guess. Oh, that's a bear. This seems to be a bad idea. <laughs> Is the bear running? I think the bear is not attacking us. No, that's really strange. Maybe bears are scaredy cats. What do we know? We need to do four challenges.
So there's a bunch of animals up there. Yeah, we can go that way, because the hyena can go through the subway car. Nice, fat, juicy deer. There you go. Don't look over here. There it is. Good. There he is. Just standing there. Got him. Wow, there's a lot of animals right here. Got him. All right, now we can do the find the bear. All right, where is the bear's territory? Yamanote line west. That's right next to where we are. And the hyena cannot kill a bear. So we're just gonna have to be stealthy, I guess. We have four siblings. We're gonna take this territory just in case. We'll also put on our costume. Not bad. Whoa, there's a giraffe. I don't think we've ever seen a giraffe. Will that fight us? Or is it like a horse? Yeah, I think it just runs. Oh crap, now we got fleas. How did it just... Man, there's so many black bucks. Oh, wait, I've been forgetting to mark these.
So now, we just need one more marked territory. And we just get that so that we can uh, mate if we need to. We be saying it looks like it's better than Ancestors? I haven't seen anything from Ancestors. I'm excited to play it though. I don't want to look anything up about it because I want to like go in totally blind. But uh, I'm definitely down for animal based video games. Maybe the interest in Ancestors will make people want another Tokyo Jungle. Maybe that'll be like the back door into this Tokyo Jungle future that we could all be living. All right, we gotta watch out for bears now. Oh my. Just hop from one uh, grass thing to another. So we're in the rain right now, which means that we're not gonna be able to sense animals. Oh, there's a bear. Okay, let's not get eaten by a bear. Uh oh, that's a bear. Oh no. Don't come near me. Do we have any food? Yeah, we'll just eat our food. We won't worry about killing animals because that's going to be too conspicuous. Uh oh, does he see us? Oh, that's a bear. Ah! Okay, can we brute force this? Could we possibly brute force this? So sometimes you can just take the territories by allowing them to kill one of your siblings. Oh crap. And then just using the other siblings to take it while they're killing the, the first one. So that's what I call brute forcing the territory. We have one more to go, and we have like four siblings, but I wouldn't be surprised if a bear could just swipe and kill all of them at once. I don't see anything around. Did we do it? Yeah, baby! Oh, and of course now it clears up. Good stuff, so we have done it, I think. I think the ban, yeah, it says the bears have abandoned Yamanote Line West. Wow. New animal bear. Can we get some hype, ladies and gents? I hope we can afford the bear with all of our survival points. Maybe we should try and like last. Let's try and do like a proper run then, instead of like, you know, just dropping out. Maybe that's why we've been uh, losing all our money. Alright, hyena time. The gaming hour for the hype as well. Oh, there's our RIP. That's our sibling right there. He died so that we may acquire a bear. Died very nobly. Oh, Weeby saying, gotta go. See you around. Have a good one. Weeby, thank you for being a part of today's show. Hope to see you again soon. Oh, and speaking of which, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Can we get some hype in that chat for Weeby joining? The Meatball Marauders. Don't forget to wave your computer screens, ladies and gents, for Weeby joining the fold. Take these 20 meatballs that you get for following Weeby and use it to buy your own copy of Tokyo Jungle 2. It's the only copy in existence. Cherish it with your life. I know you will. Uh, you are a fellow Tokyo Jungle aficionado like us. Enjoy your copy of Tokyo Jungle 2 and bask in its glory. Uh, enjoy your stay in the Meatball Marauders as well. You can type exclamation mark meatballs in the chat. You'll get a full list of all, or rather, you'll get the... Uh, your, your, that's your channel currency of meatballs. You'll see uh, that in the chat. And you'll also see your uh, ranking, which is based on how many meatballs you have. That's in the brackets there. And uh, you can also type exclamation mark games if you wanna see which games are coming up on the channel. Welcome in and have a fantastic night. I uh, hope to see you again real, real soon. Have a great one. G Hounder, welcome into the, oh crap, we have another one of these guys. G Hounder, welcome into the stream for Tokyo Jungle. 
Let's get an exclamation mark high for G Hounder joining this show as well. Good to see you, G Hounder. What are you up to right now? Now, we don't want to go that way. We want to go back to Yamanote East because I think we already took Yamanote East. Oh, that's a croc. Yes! Uh-oh. Can I kill the croc? Cannot kill the croc. Do not eat my mate, crocodile. That is a big no-no for me. Total deal breaker. Mate, if you allow yourself to get killed and eaten by a croc, that is a major deal breaker for me. You are hungry. There you go. As it turns out, so demanding. I, what's a guy got to do to find a mate that doesn't get eaten by a croc? What's a hyena got to do? Oh, we got attack plus five. That's good. Oh, and look how many siblings we have. Five sibling pack. Good stuff. Okay, our next objective, we have four of them. Change generations one more time. Defeat 25 animals. Go to Main Street. Should be a shop district. Okay. So we gotta head back down. Let's do our best. Look at these little tiny hyenas. You just gotta love them. All right, so we're not gonna be able to see any uh, animals or food or anything because of the smog. And also, uh, a lot of stuff's gonna be poisoned. Yeah, like that water is poisoned. We wanna get out of here. We won't worry about uh, capping this area. Oh, that's a hippo. Don't get eaten by him. Oh, okay, let's take down one of these. Get him! Okay, that's good. We got three different deer. Great. And none of them are poisoned. Even better. I always prefer when my food is not poisoned. Oh wait, that one was, no! Spoke too soon. We're still good. That one actually became poisoned as we were eating it. That's pretty devious. There we go. Hyena is ranking up. Our little baby hyenas are becoming adults. Got him! Uh oh, uh oh. I stealth, thank you for the host. Hey, have you changed your name, I stealth? Do you have uh, more underscores now? If you're hanging out in the chat, I don't know if you're in the chat yet. I always try not to like talk to people too soon after they uh, host because sometimes there's like uh, ads and stuff on their uh, screens. I stealth, welcome to the stream. Can we get an exclamation mark high for I stealth? Get him! There we go. So many goats. Oh, they don't even know what's going on. Look at that. Ready? 
Ready, ready. Ah. We're still good. Oh, I still just finished AC Odyssey. Nice. Good stuff. Congratulations. I'm very excited to play that one. I've been talking about wanting to play that forever. I think it's getting pretty close to time. There's some good sales I've seen on AC Odyssey too. I'm gonna have to try and pick it up. Ooh, I still doing God of War next. Oh, we loved God of War. It's so good. No, somebody stand still so I can eat you. Uh-oh, that's poison. Have the decency to not be poisoned when I eat you. I saw saying newest one. Yeah, well, we played uh, God of War 1, 2, 3, 4, actually. We didn't do God of War, uh, the PSP ones, or the Ascension, but we did, yeah, one, two, the numbered God of War games. And yeah, the, I, I was talking about the new one. I don't know if you're playing God of War 1. They're both of those games, in fact, are amazing games that we loved. <laughs> So whichever one you're doing, you're in good hands with that Kratos. Okay, wait, do we have to mark things? What are we doing? Defeat 25 animals, change generations, find vintage threads. And this is all before what? Year 21? No, before what? Year 30, uh oh. What do we got here? Get him! Damn, he's got some health on him. Alright, so we gotta kill animals. That's our main thing right now. Crap. I still saying, what's the witcher's name? Oh, is it Gerald? No, it's it's Geralt with a T. Yeah, the first one. Gerald would be a cool name for a Witcher, though. It's too like normal of a name. I like it. We're making our own Witcher, starring Gerald. Oh, I was just saying, husband is arguing with you about it. Yeah, it's Geralt. Geralt with a T. At the end. But I approve of Gerald as well in our alternate Witcher universe. So we do need to change generations again. We're probably not going to be able to do that in time though. We only have like a year and a half to do it. How many animals do we have to take out? We're not gonna be able to go to that one shop that we're trying to go to. We need eight more animals. Maybe, I'm gonna say we probably can't, unless we come up on um, like a thing of chicks or something. Damn, what's up with all the bison around here? Oh, we found vintage threads. Well, wow, that's pretty good. Ah, oh, crap. We gotta take the desperate meat. Oh, and we didn't even do it in time? 
And now it's just rubbing salt in the wound. Dang it. Crap. Doesn't count, probably. I was just trying to think it's a water buffalo. Helpful in rice fields, huh? Water buffalo. Did we? Yeah, we failed that one. Damn. So our next one is 4,000 kcal, defeat 25 animals, Yamanote West. The only one we did achieve on this was the one we least expected to get. Ain't that just the way. Let's see if we can take down a water buffalo. Oh god, this is a terrible idea. Oh yeah, it is. But they can't go up these stairs. Look at them down there. It's like the Lion King. What? How are we in danger again? We gotta get out of this part of the city. Okay, I'm getting a sad for the stampede. Yeah. If only we could find a dang animal. There's like no animals. Welcome T. Bauer to the stream. Can we get an exhibition mark high for T. Bauer joining the show? We are playing Tokyo Jungle. We're currently a uh, hyena. Oh crap, we're about to get toxified. All right, the buffaloes have forgotten their vendetta against us. But I believe we are going to die unless we can find a body of water. Oh, there's one. Give me that. Good. Man, this is like Buffalo Central. This has to be on the map, right? Yeah. The Buffalo of Shibuya Shop District have begun migrating. Interesting. Uh oh, that's a tiger. Can we kill a tiger? Yeah, baby! The new king of the jungle. Man, he's got a lot of meat on his bones. Alright, Stealth's gonna watch some pizza and eat some anime. Sounds very good. And I hope in exactly that order. I Stealth, have a fantastic day. Can we get an exclamation mark by for I Stealth? Heading into lurk mode. I just heard an animal, but I didn't see it. I don't know. Uh oh, there's another tiger. Uh oh. Whoa, that's a tiger. Oh, we really shouldn't be picking a fight with a tiger. Oh, 
Oh, we're the last of our brood here. Uh oh. We're gonna have to eat this jerky. Let's eat this too. Man, he would have killed us right there if we hadn't eaten that. Damn, we can't get a break with this guy. Getting away from the tiger. <laughs> I was trying to think. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, bye, feline Nisha. That's the name of that tiger. We uh, probably made the right decision there. Just gonna say it. Alright, let's um. Let's just sleep here. There we go. It's still raining though. But at least we have full health. Which is about to go down. Alright, eat this water. Eat, 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 eat something! Eat anything! There we go. Ah. Well, we traded hunger for toxicity now. But it won't matter in a second. Everything's toxic. Damn. What's our objective? 25 animals, 4,000 kcal. And this is all before what? 45 years? And we're currently at 37. We could do that. All right, here we go. That's bad. Oh, he ran away from us. Well, that's right. You should run away from us. We're fearsome creatures. As I started saying, Astral Chain looks cool. Yeah, I'm excited for Astral Chain. That's the same guys, that's Platinum Games. And the dis director on that game is specifically the same director who did Near Automata. Um, so I'm pretty pumped for that. Platinum Games has made a lot of amazing stuff though. I mean, they made Near Automata, they made um, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. They made um, Vanquish, they made uh, Bayonetta. A whole bunch of amazing action games. So I'm totally looking forward to playing that one. Whoa, oh, that's a hippo. All right, let's not even go near him. So 
So we'll get this objective at least. So we just can't see animals then. Something's jumping around at us over there. Are those like hounds? Forty years, ladies and gents. You know what I think it is? I think when we, um, you know, save the game and then, you know, start a new animal like we've been doing, I think that that makes it so that the, uh, I think that makes it so that the, we don't get any survival points for that. All right, let's try and take down this lioness. Get her! Yeah, baby. I think we'll be able to go to the next uh, level in this area. Oh, that's a lion. Can I take him down? Yeah, baby. He thought he was the king of the jungle until we came along. And we said, no. Now it's us. Us three. We're going to have to split the power evenly. There's going to be a coup at some point. One of the us is going to get assassinated, probably. But it won't be me. Okay, 25 animals. We need eight more. So we want to go to Yamanote West. We have four minutes to do it. We should be good. Oh god, that's a lion. Aha! Ah, I got like a kink in my neck or something. Okay, so now we just need to get to Yamanote West, which should be the next one right here. Alright, so we can mate here now. And now, Yamanote? It should be it. Yeah, baby! Good stuff. Plus 20 life, good. Now let's try and uh, mate. What is our mate doing hanging out right next to a crocodile?
There you go. Maiden. So now we just have to kill seven more animals. Damn, we probably should have done that while there were so many animals standing right there. Now we don't even have a way of finding any of them. That probably cost us that objective, honestly. I think those are like invisible birds. I think they're just making noises of birds. Damn, I can't find any animals. That's it. All right. Well, what's our next objective then? Generation, 35 animals, Yo-Yogi West. So if it's generation, then we definitely want to uh, take this just to be ready. Oh, more lions. Oh no, that's our sibling again. He's still there. Somebody bury him. Jeez, have a heart. Alright, so you can do that. Hopefully there will be more animals here. There should be. Alright. Oh, that's a tiger. Uh-oh. Oh, man. RIP.
We've taken revenge on you, tiger. Damn. This one. Oh wow, Yamanote, Shibuya Woods, those have a lot of um, food in them, so let's go up. As it turns out, like, the music goes so good with this game. This game has a very unique soundtrack. It's not what you would expect for, for uh, you know, a game about animals, but I definitely approve. They're making some bold choices. Oh, you're talking about the music from The Lion King. That also goes really well with this game. That goes much better than the music of the actual game. Yes. TVR, gotta get some sleep. Have to pop in another time. TVR, have a fantastic rest of your night. Can we get an X mark night for T Bauer? Heading out of the stream to go to bed. Have a great one, T Bauer. Thank you for being a part of today's show. May your Mickeys always be hidden and still waiting to be found. Look at that. We were just talking about Disney stuff. Uh-oh. So we're, uh... We're in trouble here. We should probably take a, uh... Pet medicine? Yeah. I was just trying to say the big 5-0. That's true. We just hit 50. We're over the hill, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get some hype for that? Some hearts for our good old hyena troop. here no oh wait how do we not just kill that thing This isn't working out. How do we get on this? Uh... Oh, this is the nest. So we're, once we get uh, killed or to the end of this or whatever, 
I think that'll get us a lot more survival points than we usually get. So that'll be good. But ladies and gents, we're going to have to save that for next time. That's going to do it for Tokyo Jungle today. Thank you everybody for joining the show. Let's get a raid going here. So uh, let's get ready for a raid, ladies and gentlemen. Now if you don't know the channel, it is called The Voice of Nick. I play uh, video games on here live three times a day and seven days a week. The games we play though are all what we call ultra-blind playthroughs. So they're story-focused games. I don't talk over story or cutscene moments, but I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. If you want to see more of what's happening on here, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all six concurring gameplay series going, including Tokyo Jungle. And if you like what you see saw today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, there's a follower goal of seven, nine, seven, I don't know. There's a goal of nine, and we're currently at two. Uh, we're getting there, guys. Uh, the 21st entry, uh, rather, episode of Dog and Rampa is out right now on the YouTube channel. That's a YouTube exclusive. You can find it at youtube.com slash thevoiceofnick or exclamation mark YouTube in the chat. Uh, the 35th Twitch Playbook entry is also out. That's a uh, podcast on iTunes, Spotify, all the major podcast platforms. Now, uh, if you like the channel and you want to support the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the Voice of Nick emo, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames, and ad-free streams. Uh, on the cheerleader boards this week, we have in third place, nobody, second place, nobody, first place, Azur Tundra with 220 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Azur Tundra. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. You're directly helping these shows to get better. Every single day, I improve at least one thing about this family of channels here, whether it's tweaking the streams you see in front of you, creating and posting content for the social channels, adding and updating things on the wiki or Discord, writing all the Twitch playbook entries, making all the YouTube exclusive episodes, all that stuff, guys, is in large part thanks to all of you. We're supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, gifting games. Thank you so much to everybody who does it. It is very highly appreciated. Now, uh, let's see if we can raid somebody. Who do we got playing some video games on Twitch? these days. Oh, we got some cool people. I can say this much. We have indeed have some cool people. Let's see who is out there that we can join. Um, the way we do raids for anybody who doesn't know, um, we like to copy down this raid message. Meatball Marauders are here to party. And then you can paste that into the stream we join. It'll show up like that so everybody can be a part of this like nice, bra uh, nice uh, branded raid message. And uh, even if you're on a device that doesn't let you copy and paste, you can actually um, write in the alternate message, Glorious Meatball Raid, with your keyboard. And that'll allow you to be a part of the raid itself, even uh, though you can't copy it. So uh, it's a good alternative to that. Now let's see if we can find somebody to join here. We always raid somebody here who's playing a previous game in our playthrough series. So as not to see any info about games we're currently playing, or any games we plan on playing in the future. How about we join this one, ladies and gentlemen? Glitch Mama is currently playing God of War right now. Let's go say hi to Glitch Mama, who we haven't seen in a little while. So uh, make sure you post that raid message, guys. Show some love over there, and uh, I will see you all next time. We have three more streams coming up tomorrow. But until then, guys, bye-bye, and thanks for watching.